I really enjoyed the first Princess Switch film a lot more than I thought I would. And when I saw the poster for Princess Switch 2, or Princess Switch Switched Again as it's called, and I saw three versions of Vanessa Hudgens, I kind of thought, how are you going to do this? How are you going to play Stacey DeNovo, Princess Margaret, and this third individual? I was very curious. I have now watched it. I genuinely liked it, and I think it worked quite well. So this one picks up several years, I believe, after the end of the first film. There will probably, almost definitely, be spoilers in this um, for the first film. But if you haven't seen it, I thoroughly recommend you check it out. They are... All three of them are on Netflix. I haven't yet watched the third one. So this one, in fact, I'll read the description from IMDb, but then I'll talk a little bit around it. And this says, When Duchess Margaret unexpectedly inherits the throne to Montanaro and hits a rough patch with Kevin, it's up to her double Stacy to save the day before a new look-alike party girl Fiona spoils their plans. So this is directed by Mike Rowe and stars, of course, Vanessa Hudgens as Stacy and Margaret and Fiona. Duchess Margaret is getting crowned and Stacy is invited along as is Kevin and of course his daughter Olivia. You can tell that there are still sparks between Kevin and Margaret but unfortunately things didn't work out. But maybe now is a chance for them to rekindle things. Seems like there might be a good opportunity particularly as Olivia does some matchmaking. She's absolutely adorable. But because of Fiona not everything goes to plan. Fiona is Duchess Margaret's cousin and the antithesis of everything that she is. She is loud, she is brash, she is bleached blonde hair, very, dare I say it, almost a sluttier version of her cousin and definitely wants to take the opportunity to get some money out of this situation and the fact that she also kind of by which I mean exactly, looks like the Duchess herself. Having been aware of the switch that Margaret and Stacey pulled off, Fiona wonders if she can also do the same thing. I'm not going to say what happens. It sounds quite chaotic, and I will be honest, it is. You have to pay attention to remember who is whom, because there are like it's like a three-way accidental switch going on, and you need to kind of be on the ball with working out whose identity belongs to which character because obviously with the first film they switched and they were each other for pretty much you know the bulk of the rest of the film this one is not the case it goes back and forth sometimes one person is pretending to be another sometimes all three of them are not who they are meant to be it's um yeah but i think they handled it very well and i was very impressed with because you know as i said you need to pay attention but I was impressed with how easy they made it for us to pay attention. If you kind of switched off for a second, you could easily catch up with who you're meant to be looking at and who it actually is. I think it's pretty entertaining. It's not um, the most amazing film I've ever seen. It's not the most engaging. There were times where my attention dipped. But honestly, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. If you've seen the first film and liked it, definitely give this a watch. If you saw the first film and didn't really care for it for whatever reason, not your kind of film or you just weren't impressed, I'd say give this a miss. I think it's a little bit more complicated and maybe not quite as well executed as the first film, but certainly still an achievement. The set designs are beautiful. Vanessa Hudgens is <laughs> ridiculously amazing. You can tell she's talented by the way she plays Margaret and Stacy and how different they are and she can switch between the two although I'm sure they were filmed in blocks but when she plays Fiona it's a complete switch of anything I've ever seen her do before she may have done, done roles like that before but I haven't seen them but when you get such a strong contrast between specifically Fiona and Margaret you can really see the talent in her acting really enjoy her performance in this or performances I'm going to watch the third film there may be a fourth. I did hear somewhere that they're planning a fourth. I'm not sure if that's true or just hearsay. But so far, the second Princess Switch, released last year in 2020, definitely lived up to my expectations.